G'day guys, welcome back. <laughs> You're way up high today to get all this in. I had to climb down my ladder, run around the table and say hi. Right, look at this. This is a huge project and huge as in big. I am going to attempt a resin vase, vase, big bowl, sculpture, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, you know how when I've done them previously, I have just used like a, a plastic bag, but this time I went down to my local hardware store Bunnings and I got this um, thicker plastic. It comes on a, well, they've got it on like big rolls. It's uh, like for tablecloths and you just tell them how much you want. So I just bought a meter um, that way. It was like, I don't know two and a half meters long anyway so I've got this left over but that's it see it's quite thick because I thought it would drape nicely when I've used the thinner plastic bags it, they don't really drape very well and you get all these crinkles and things in so I'm going to try with this nice thick plastic it came well they had like three different thicknesses there was a very thin one which I thought was quite crinkly and the thickest one I thought it might not sort of mold very well so I went with the middle one just like Goldilocks and just making sure that it's nice and level. Um, I've got it on a on a board. I just bought a board from Bunnings as well. And I've put that on. I've cut this to the same size as my board and I've just got some masking tape there just to hold it over. Um, the edges here, you probably can't see them, but I haven't cut them off. They just stay there. All right, so that's that done. I've marked where I kind of want it to go. And I'm going to use some silicone. This is just, it's Sally's, it says wet area, but the thing that's important here is it says 100% silicone. And I've got it in my little caulking gun. I've made quite a wide hole at the top because I want just one quite thick sort of edge. I'm only going to pour it, say, I don't know, half a centimetre. Anyway, let's get going. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I'm going to reach all this, but... I'm going to just do on the inside of my line because I don't want the black obviously transferring in. So I'm going to see if I can just do this on the inside of the line. Now my little nozzle tip is just actually touching the plastic just so that I can hopefully get a nice seal. And then as it runs out, I need to release the trigger and then squeeze again. This is just a caulking gun. Now what I will do in a minute after I've finished this, I'll show you how I'm going to smooth the edges. So I'm just releasing that, not that little gun handle and going again now up here I think I'm going to have to change <laughs> I'm just squeezing this uh, I think I'm going to have to change and come this way I think because I'm right handed let's see how that goes I'm just getting a nice, nice thick kind of worm of silicone And stop, squeeze again. But see how it's kind of wobbly and sort of bumpy because, well, it's just human error, isn't it? Not going particularly straight. And also, every time I stop and then squeeze the trigger, it's kind of going bumpy. But that's okay. I'll show you how to smooth that over in a minute once I'm done. It's a big project, this, hey? It's exciting. All right, we'll just join that up there. This bit here I feel is not quite as thick, kind of went a bit wobbly. All right, now I'm gonna have to go around here and join these two up. So the silicone should potentially stick to my plastic sheet, my plastic tablecloth. And when I'm done with it, 
again, potentially. <laughs> I should be able to just peel the resin out and then this will be like my mold and I can use it again. So I didn't mind going out and, you know, spending money on buying the plastic sheeting and silicone. Oh, I already had the corking gun, but I didn't mind spending money on the other things because I figured I can use this again. Now you need to clean your end off and you'll have to really put something in there. I'm not quite sure what people use, but they have to put something in there. Um, otherwise it'll go all hard and you won't be able to get that out. So I'll deal with that later. It'll be fine for now. Right. Oh my gosh. Let me just make sure it's still taping. I'm going to climb up my ladder. Oh wow, that took me six minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I've got in here, I've got a little bowl of just plain tap water and I've put some dishwashing liquid in it. So all I'm going to do, and the dishwashing liquid makes it so that you can't, it won't stick. If you just, you know, touch silicone with a, a dry finger, it'll stick. So dip your finger in that. I'm just going to put it over to the side. And then all you do is just run your finger around the edge like that. And that'll give you a nice smooth edge there, okay? And then you can just clean your finger off if you've got some silicone on it. Dip again, and off you go. So I'm just resting my hand on the plastic. And then just slowly pulling my finger across and hopefully getting a nice, even, smooth line there. You don't have to do this. You may like the um, natural kind of bumpy look of the silicone. Now there's quite a big bump there, so I'm just taking that off there. And also where my join is, I'm just going to smooth that over. Now, where did I get up to? Now, because your finger is curved, obviously, my finger's not straight. You could, I mean, you could use something else, but I just, I just like to use my finger because I can feel what's going on. But you could use something else if you wanted to have it dead straight instead of a bit curved. All right, now again, I'm going to go this way. I don't think it'll matter too much about the edge being a bit curved. Just going to tidy this up a little bit here, where I had a, a bigger, a bigger blob on the sides. Just trying to make it all even, basically, so that I've got a as straight an edge as possible. Um, later on where this where I've sort of touched the plastic I'll come in with um, some alcohol on a baby wipe and um, I'll just clean that off my plastic right, that side's done she this side's just a bit a bit bulgy there I think that's where I put that extra bit of silicone wasn't it Don't worry too much if your edges aren't, you know, like a total circle or anything because we're going to be moulding this anyway. So I'm going for like those sort of scalloped edges. All right, let's go again up here. So don't worry too much if you haven't got totally, totally like round. This is kind of an oval, which is what I wanted.
So I want the back, when I sculpt this, I want the back to be higher than the front. Just so that you can see the inside. And I'm going to tell you about that in a little while, why I want to do that. So while I'm doing this, I'll tell you about my, my um, resin I'm using today. Because it's a big project and I have to mix up quite a lot of resin, I'm going to choose a resin that sets up more slowly. So you know how I use the 360, the Platinum 360 Plus for a lot of things? But it sets up pretty quickly. And when I'm making up large amounts of resin, like I will do for this, um, it's better off... I'm better off using a silicone that sets up more slowly so I'm going to use the ultra clear now the other thing I'm going to do is just to get a really good seal and make it look pretty I'm going to go around the outside as well just like this I guess you don't have to but just to give it a better seal on my plastic All the way around. You get the general idea. So I went online to a resin calculator. I will have to check it again now that I've actually made my circle. Um, and I just put in, um, I think I chose cylinder and I put in the diameter. And then I put in the depth and it told me how much to make up. So I actually did that the other day and I can't remember what it was. So I'm going to have to look it up again. Now me doing this is kind of pushing that line, that little sort of edge over again, which is fine, making it straight. Okay. All right, so that's about it done. Um, so what I will do is I'll get baby wipe. I'll put some alcohol on it, just my 100% isopropyl, and we'll just run, squeak, 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 I'll just run on the inside of that like that, and then change over to a new section, it's probably got a bit of silicone on it, ah, don't you love that noise? I'm just cleaning up the edges. Oh my god, what a funny noise. Alright. Not doing it on this side. <laughs> so I'm not sure like if I'm getting any silicone on the actual plastic. Um, I mean I'm trying not to, but I guess I may end up with a little bit there. Now I'm just gonna clean up this top edge. I'm not sure if what I'm seeing is just wet from the detergent and water or whether it's actually a bit of silicone on the plastic. All right, I think that's done. So now I'm going to the set up. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to set up, but I'll come and come and check it sort of regularly I'll give it a couple of hours and I'll come back and check it and then we'll go to the next stage this is exciting okay so you can see I have put paper all the way around this um, and just taped it down what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this board that it's on and I'm going to take it outside and I am going to spray paint the inside and I'm going to try and get up the sides as well in here with uh, my can of spray paint. I've got this one. I have to give it a good shake. Um, it's by Design Master and it's Brilliant Gold. So, I don't think you can hear that, but it is so, so windy outside. Branches are blowing over and power lines are down and... Anyway, I'll see what I can do. I'm really keen to get it done, so I'm just going to take it outside and put it on out on the front. Um, but if it's too windy, I'll have to wait until tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick up this whole thing. And because I, I didn't want it like getting over my plastic, so that's why I've just, just taped it. All right, so hopefully that will work.
I'm going to go and try and do that and I'll come back. Well, that was an experience <laughs> out in the wind. <laughs> but anyway, um, I gave it just three really light coats. Now, you can see here that there's a bit of a bend in my plastic. When I put it down yesterday, um, I tried heating it and, you know, trying to get the bump out. But I think it'll be all right because it's going to be on the inside, you know. You're not going to see. It's going to be all folded anyway, so I don't think you'll see that. But look, it's all dry. So let's get this tape off. I suppose I should have got it off earlier, hey? But <laughs> you guys like to see me do things from go to woe. Just peel that back. There we go. Maybe I can keep this somewhere. I don't know where, but keep it somewhere, and then when I want to spray paint again I can use it but probably not <laughs> I probably won't so there we go now you know when you dust your silicon molds with mica powder or chameleon powder or anything like that um, and then you pour your resin on and you peel it out and your mica powder comes out with it doesn't it so I'm hoping fingers that this will do the same I can see my edge now I didn't do a very good job on my edge but um, I think I fiddled too much I think it, it, you just you know wet like put your silicone down wet your finger and just do that you know so you get a small a nice smooth edge I think I've kind of fiddled too much and it's a bit yeah it's not as smooth as I would like but I may have to, once I've finished it and unmolded it, I may have to actually sand the top edge um, and then just paint it. So anyway, we'll deal with that later. So here we go. Look at that. Beautiful gold, shiny piece. So I'm going to mix up my resin now and I will come back to you. So I have mixed up 1.5 kilos of resin and I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear. It's got one of those, two of those, and another one, three. So I've got three of those. Now I probably won't be able to be in film for this whole thing. But um, we'll see how I go. So, um, I want to have mainly black. Mainly black. Black, red and gold is what I want. Ah, get the top off. New, new jar. I'm just going to do this over here, over the bin. Ah, there we go. Of course, it's made a mess everywhere. So, yeah, black, red, and gold is what I am going for today. So, um, I want to have probably two of these smaller cups of black. So, I'm going to just divide that now. I don't know if that'll sit there. Actually, I'm just going to do it off screen. I'm going to do two cups of black. Just doing it over here so this is a bit bendy here I just don't know that it's going to work all that well so basically one of those big cups I just divided it into two and that's going to be my black I guess I could have just left it in there couldn't I <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh spilling oh hang on I knew this was <laughs> oh, too big a project. Just lost about a quarter of a cup of resin, that's all. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. But I thought, well, I'm over there cleaning up. I'm just going to mix up my colours. So I have a big cup of black. That is the Art Tree Creations Batman Black. So I've got that. 
And then I've got this red here. So this is a mica powder, this one. The, the blacks are paste. This is truly red. Um, I think that's one of Petra's colours. And then I've got another more of like a fire engine red. It's starting to warm up. I'm going to have to get a move on. Um, I tried this one here because I thought that would be a nice red, but it's actually really quite transparent. It is black cherry, really transparent. So I had to add some red alcohol ink. So that's what I've got there in that one. And then my gold, um, the Archery Creations Rich Gold is quite yellow and the Meron or Meron is more of a coppery. So I've mixed the two together, sort of 50-50, and I've got this. So it kind of matches that really well. So let's get started. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing over here. I'm just going to do one cup at a time. If I have to mix up more resin, I will. That's okay. Because I've got a pretty good work time with this resin. So, put some black in there. Oh, nervous. And put some red in. Like, I want most of it to be black. Quite dark. But we'll see what it looks like after I've done my first cup. Bit of gold. And then the other red alrighty there we go so basically I'm just going to do dirty pores into each like I'll fill this one up again all right here we go so I kind of see what it looks like first oh look at that look we're getting cells and all kinds of things happening look at that right let's do that again Put some black in. Oh, I like the colour. I'm happy with that colour. And each cup might be a little bit different. And some red. And some gold. Oh my gosh, look at the gold. What's it doing? Ooh. Some gold. Oh, I think I filled up my cup too much. Some red. <laughs> I think I put a bit too much black in this one. That's all right. All right, here we go. Pour this one out. Oh, look at that. Now the gold, uh, these golds, they float. So I'm, I, I knew that, That's, I'm happy with that. I wanted it to, to float give a really cool effect. Now I haven't got much black left. I'll finish this off. I do have an, another half a cup of resin, just clear resin that I thought I'd just keep aside for my other black. Now some red and some more gold and the other red. Pour this out as well. Look at that. Wowzers, hey? How pretty is that? Now, I just need to mix up the rest. I need to make some more black. Uh, where did I put my black? Here. Wow, look at it all. Really pretty effects, hey? So I just need to clean my stick. I'm making a huge mess here, you guys. I am. Pop that in there. I'm going to have a big mess to clean up. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's so pretty. Wow. So I'll mix up the rest of this black. And then I've probably only got one more, one more cup that I can mix up. And then I'll have to decide whether or not I need to make up some more resin. 
Um, it was going to be somewhere between one and a half kilos and two kilos of resin. And I thought, oh, I'll just go one and a half because it's three of these big cups. But um, we'll see. I'll see how thick it is. If it's too thin, I'll just make up another cup real quick. Won't take long. Actually, you can see where that see where that raised bit is. That bit of a bump. I'll have to cover that. So we will have to make enough resin to cover that. I think I'm going to need to make up some more. So here we go. The same cup again. Pour that in there. And. Red, I'll finish this off. Actually, that's got some lumps in the bottom. I won't scrape that. Some gold. I won't put much gold in. I think it's got plenty of gold in it. Oh, and some of the other red. Yeah, it's got a lot of gold in it. Which is fine because then you know it'll match the gold center. All right, let's pour this out, and I'm just going to go sort of through the top, like so, because we've got a little gap there that hasn't filled up just yet. All right, last of the black. You know when you're scraping your cup, that's what I did, I must have had a good hold on it and I was scraping it and the cup just flung out of my hands. Gosh. Alright, um, oh I've got no red left. Alright, so that's it for my black. Um, I will quickly go and mix up a little bit more resin. Let's give this a bit of a, a torch, pop some bubbles. I'll go and make up another 500 grams, another two cups. I've still got some gold left. I'm not going to make up any more gold. I think that's enough. I'll just make up some more black and some more red. Oh, it's looking so pretty. So pretty. I'll be right back. So I made up a little bit more black. Or made up a bit more resin. Made it, mixed up a bit of black, mixed up a bit of red both reds. Battery went flat. I've plugged it in. Um, hopefully it'll take. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I'll catch up with you when it's time to demold. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's always the way with these big pores. But anyway, I will try and get this done. So here's my red. That's all my black I've got left. So I've got half, half. I'm going to put half in there. Half in there. Actually, I should have made a bigger cup. Gosh. Um, oh, what am I going to do now? I'm not used to doing these big projects, you guys. I'm just not. <gasps> Scary. Oh, I'm still typing. All right. This is this is scary. All right, I'm going to put half in there. Now my colours are mixed. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I just have to get the resin out before it all starts going hard. Some red in there. Some red in there. Some red in there. Some red in there. Now hopefully the resin will all kind of set at the same time. Oh, now a little bit of gold left, so a little bit of gold in each. I've got plenty of gold in the whole piece there, so I don't need a lot of gold. I think the gold really ended up taking over. And I didn't want it to float, but I didn't want it to take over too much. Alright, here we go. So I've got four cups left. Now I ended up taking the tape off the side here and pulling this straight. So I kind of got rid of that bump, which is good. All right, here we go. Let's pour the rest of this out, eh? Hey? That one. Let's see, we've got some more red happening. It 
will all blend and everything. So a bit down the side here. So I'm glad I've got a little bit more red in it. But we'll have to wait and see what it's going to do. And my last cup, here we go. Okay. Wowzers. That was hard work, you guys. It's going to scrape my cup. Scrape all the cups. Pull all that yummy colouring out. run my stick through I think just to give it like a bit of a a blending just up and down and up and down just to kind of mix both those resins because one's been sitting a bit longer now hasn't it so I hope it'll be all right like I hope it's still going to cure Okay, like, yeah, that's it. I don't want to blend it too much. I'm going to keep those colours kind of separate. All right, let's give it a torch. I don't want to, I won't torch it too, too much because, um, you know, I've got plastic underneath. The heat will bring up cells and lacing in the gold, which is really pretty. So, I'll just, no, it's not gonna work. It's got a little bit of lines on the edges, but it's probably all gonna just move anyway and do its own thing. Isn't it? Oops, I've got a drip there now. Let's fix that. So this is the side that we're going to see. It's going to be the outside. Oh my gosh, I made a mess. Are we still taping? Oh, thank goodness for that. All right, I'm going to bring you down. I have to be careful though because I've got the cord now. Mm, no. Knowing me, I'm gonna no, I'm not even gonna attempt that. I've got the cord plugged in and it's going just over there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Look, there's the cord. Knowing me, I'll drop it in the resin, so um Yeah. This this is the best I can do, kind of zoom you in a bit. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take. I'm exhausted. Um, I'm going to come back, check it probably three hours and just see how it goes. Um, and then I will show you what I'm going to drape it over. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to touch my phone in case I drop the cord in my resin. All right. I'll see you in a few hours. All right. Now that I've got myself organized and cleaned up and got my phone down off the tripod and unplugged it. I can come in for a bit of a close-up so the camera just does not do this justice it's a bit glary and it kind of looks orange instead of the deep red burgundy that it is but um, there it is that gold glistening on top which is exactly what I wanted because then if I can um, drape it properly. I'm just trying to get away from that ring light. If I can drape it properly, we'll be able to see the inside. So you'll have that beautiful shimmery gold inside and uh, hopefully it'll pick up on the gold on the outside as well. So yeah, it's just not picking it up really well. So actually while I've got you here, I'll show you. I have to excuse my mess. I'm in this process of packing. This is what I'm going to use bring it over here this is what I'm going to use I was walking around Bunnings um, looking for some pipe actually and then I'm thinking well how am I going to 
stop the pup from wobbling over. <clears throat> and I walked past the, um, it was things for tables. This is actually a leg of a table. So I've got it upside down. Um, that bit down the bottom there would attach to the bottom of the table. So it actually stands there quite nicely and then this would be a bit on the floor. And I've just got this little bowl and I put that over the top and I think I'm going to drape that. It's either that one or I've got one that's slightly bigger. So, and I think I'm just going to, oh, I don't know whether I'll be able to put it up on the table or not, but that's what I'm going to use because it's quite, it's quite sturdy. So yeah, when the time comes to drape, that's what it's going to be sitting on. So I figured it will come down maybe 30 centimetres on one side and maybe 40 centimetres on the other side. So yeah, that'll work well. Right, I'll see you when it's time to drape. Hey guys, I'm back. It's actually been six hours. And uh, the resin is touch dry. But um, it's still quite soft because I'm really in two minds about if I should do it or not. But I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> right, so here we go. I'm leaving it in its silicone um, little edging like I've left the silicone edging in. I'm just not sure how to do this without getting my arms in the way. I'm just going to let that fall for a minute. <laughs> gosh and see how I can do that now I'm just going to go and put a few folds in and I'm going to tape each one so that it stays in place so I've popped it up on the table I did try to mold it on the floor in front of the camera but I was just like all arms and legs and heads and everything were in the way so I've popped it up here I kept getting my arms in the way so um, and I just had to concentrate on what I was doing I don't know how well it's gonna turn out but that's it there I've got tape and everywhere. I've tried not to put it. Well, I haven't put any tape on the actual resin itself. I didn't want to leave any marks. So I've taped um, the plastic and I've popped little paper cups in some of the areas underneath just to keep them open. Let's see if I can give it a bit of a turn for you. So I'm happy with the way it's turned out so far. I have to excuse my messy studio. <laughs> I'm in the process of packing up and putting things in boxes. So I'm hoping that I've got some sort of higher side and then a lower side. But you can see how the gold's shining. And um, when I was trying to like see if the resin was ready, I was kind of like peeling it away. I hope it comes away tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. But I probably will have some sanding to do, I would think. So anyway, there it is. And um, I must go to bed. I don't know how people video these big things like this. But look, it's my first attempt. I'll stand back here so you can have a look. All right, so there you go. And um, it's after midnight. I need to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow and um, I'll unmold it. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day. I'm super excited. I couldn't get back to sleep again after I got up at 11 o'clock. <laughs> if I can get this out for you so that you can still see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take that out. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Ugh. Oh, will it stand up? Oh, it will! It will! Oh my gosh! Oh look, it's standing up on its own! Oh gosh, after I went to bed I thought, oh, I should put something like um, heavy, like on the top, to keep it level. But um, by the time I'd gone to bed it was already quite 
hard to quite set it took me about 45 minutes to mold it and in that time it really set up so yeah I should have not gone to bed and just done it at um, the five hour mark instead of the five hour and 45 minute mark right I'm going to pop you back up onto the table and um, I'll see if I can get the plastic out hey hopefully I can All right, how's that? Can you all see? This is tricky doing these big things. Now, oh, there we go, that came out easily. I'm, I'm a bit concerned about how to get this plastic off now because I've left the, you know, the silicone edging on there. So, what's the best way to do this? Because I need to get it, is it gonna be, hmm? still moving a little bit, look at that. That's okay, at least I can still sort of get my hands in there. I might drape it back over later on. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's just go around and get all the silicone off. Oh, look, that's coming off okay. Put a bit of over. See these little bits? These are the gold paint that was sticking onto the, the silicone. So I think those I'm going to have to sand but I'll have to wait till it's totally set before I can go sanding okay it's still a, bit, a little bit soft I thought it was I thought it was ready I hope that shows well with the, the plastic you know not having it too thin I just hope I haven't gone the opposite way and it's a bit too thick um, I'm, I was concerned that maybe it was too thick and that's why it wasn't moulding properly, but then it occurred to me that it's probably just because, um, you know, it was kind of a little bit too set when I did it last night. Actually, it was early this morning, wasn't it? Let's go around and loosen this all the way around. I'm hoping I can still use this plastic again to do another vase. All right, now that's loose. How do I get it out? <laughs> going to pull. Ah. If somebody wants to jump down and help me, that would be appreciated. Oh look, it's moving you guys, it's coming. It's coming. I just have to do a little bit by little bit. Look at that! <gasps> oh. All right. oh, it's out! It's out! <gasps> oh wow, okay. I'm a bit too... <laughs> I'm more interested in my plastic than I am in my vase. Hang on, let me have a look at the plastic and then we'll look at the vase. All right, so it's a little bit, it's a bit crinkled. I wonder if I can, I really wanted to use it again. I wonder if I can just heat it, if it'll come good. Or maybe soak it. I might soak it in a hot water bath and see, because it's kind of a little bit, Anyway, I'll, I'll work on it, alright? If anyone's got any suggestions, I'll just put it over here out of the way. If anyone's got any suggestions, let me know. Alright, let's look at this gorgeous creature. <gasps> Ta da! Look at that! Look at that, you guys! <gasps> oh, wow! I love it, I love it, I love it. Put it over here so you can see it a bit better. What do you think? Wow! Right, so I've got some work to do with the edges here, which I told you about. I can just kind of peel those off. It's actually just, these bits here are actually just paint um, that was up the side of the silicone. But uh, I don't really like that, the way the edges have turned out. So, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Get that out. Look at that. I will, when it's set, I will sand all the edges um, and then I'll paint them again and I'll show you what I'm going to do with, I've already thought about what I'm going to do with the edges if I needed to repaint them because you can't just, if once you sand these they'll go all dull so you have to, you have to then repaint them otherwise they'll just be all, you know, dull and of course you'll sand all the gold off. But I do have an idea, so bear with me. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? I'm going to have to wait another day for this to totally set up, and then I can sand it. But I'm just going to I'm just going around here with my nail, actually, and just pulling off all that extra gold paint. I think 
what I'll do, I mean, the, the silicone corking was okay, but it's, it's not ideal because, you know, you've got this, all this weird edging and stuff. Um, I think next time I will try something else. I've got bits in there, <laughs> all little bits. All right, I'm going to bring you down for a close up so that you can have a look. It's really heavy. Now, tell me, what do you think of the gold inside? Hey, how well did that work? Look in there. That is really, really pretty. I'm really happy with that. How that turned out definitely going to do this again because you know like I said I'm not happy with these edges um, do you remember that um, silicon mold edging that I made those of you that follow me and have seen all my videos you may remember that one um, I think what I'll do is I'll try and do a big one of those like join a couple of pieces because that gave me a really nice edge um, and also I think what I'll need to do is probably t if I can take the silicone out of the mold itself before I drape but there you go you can see the you can see the edges there hopefully you can see that it's probably the camera's probably not picking them up all that well but hopefully you can see the red and this, see how this side's a bit lower so I wanted to, ideally I would have liked it to be taller and thinner instead of so wide but that was just the draping issues I had but for a first attempt at something this big I think I done all right it was hard work so um, yeah I'll sand it I'll paint the edges well I'll sand it and then I'll come back to you and I'll show you how I'm going to paint the edges so it matches the inside but for now I'm just going to leave it um, I think I'll go and make myself a couple of silicone edges so that I'm ready to go again and work out how to get the ripples out of that plastic so I'd like to use it again look at the shimmer on that gold isn't that just gorgeous oh I'm so happy with the way that's turned out it's just so gorgeous it's lovely who knew that you could transfer gold spray paint onto resin just a really shame that the tops left it let it down so don't look at the top look at the inside and the outside <laughs> and don't look at the top all right um, I'm gonna leave it like this to set up for a bit I think I'll drape it back over its little thingy just to so it doesn't flop out and um, I'll see you real soon when it's time to paint the edges I'm just gonna use my Dremel to do those right see you soon okay so I've waited I waited 24 hours until this was really rock hard because it was still kind of bending a little bit and I left it upside down on its post and then I went with my Dremel and I sanded the top edge now it's not totally totally smooth because I only had that little that little sanding ball thing but um, I did my best but yeah, for a first attempt, I'm not too concerned about it. My next one, I'll try and make it a little bit better. So, for the edges. Now, I don't want to just paint, you know, with the Deco color pen. I do want the color to match, so I want to use this. So, what I thought, instead of, I know you can spray it, but you'd have to tape and tape, and it's a huge mess. So, well, it's not a huge mess, but it's difficult to do. So, I thought I'd try and spray some in here. Hopefully I can, and then dip that in there and paint the edges. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go over here. Um, actually, I'm going to do it over the over the bin. Just bear with me. I'll see if I can spray some in there. Just a little bit. I'm not going to put too much in in case it dries really quickly because this stuff does dry really quickly. So let's. Oh look, it's done it. So I'm just going to do that real quick all over the top there um, it, it sets up pretty quick it dries pretty quick this stuff it only takes like two or three minutes 
So you either need to work really, really quickly or just do a little bit at a time, spray a bit in there at a time. Um, otherwise, you'll be wasting a lot of product if you spray too much in because it'll just set up and then you'll lose it. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to try, 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 try. I don't know if I can. Actually, no, I was going to see if I could do the, the side edge, but I think I'll probably end up going over like that. Okay, we have to be really careful. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I might do it this way instead of doing it that way because the brushes of the side brushes are going down the side there I just do it this way that way I don't risk painting the, the outside okay so that's dry now so I'm going to continue doing that um, I probably need to do two coats because you can still see through it there so I'm going to do that I'm going to do two coats and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> come back to you all right but it's looking good so far Alrighty, uh, finished. I found if I put too much on, it would kind of drip down the side and I quickly have to just wipe it off. Um, but if, if it um, stayed on, um, I could just wipe it off with some um, alcohol. Oh, there's a little bit there that I've missed. I can just sort of scrape it off with some alcohol on a baby wipe and uh, I found that worked really well. So. Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it. There are a couple of things, you know, that I do want to change for next time. So I'm in the process of making myself another instant mold. And um, I'm going to take it out of the mold before I actually mold it because the silicone has kind of, you know, left some little marks and things on it. But look for a first attempt. It's really good. I love it. I love that gold middle. Look at that. Look at the inside. And this gold edging on the outside matches really well. You can't even see the proper shine on it. I'll put it in the light and so that you can actually see the proper shimmer because it's so, so beautiful. Alrighty. So I know it's a long video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you've learned something. I sure have <laughs> learned a few things from this. And um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. All right. Okay. I'm going to go and set it up in the sun for you now so you can see it. Hopefully get the colours properly because you can't really see them all that well here. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.